Hello everybody, I'm Hello. back with Leggard on the Skycraft Creative server for the second episode of for our useless contraption series and this week we want to show you a almost instant record sorter. So let's start with a demonstration. Um, let's just pick a random uh, music disc and empty the chest so you can see that it works. So we put it in here can let the music play a little and as soon as we take it out it gets picked up by a hopper minecart and it's transported to the chest almost instantly. So let's see the redstone in the back how it works. Yeah, so as you can see those torches here turn off. And as soon as the hopper under the minecart picks up the record um, gets a signal, um, we transport the item via instant dropper line until a, a torch is on, so it stops there and gets transported to the, to the, um, to the chest under there. So that's how we sort it. And the information how, um, in which, yeah, how many torches should turn off, uh, we get that from the jukebox itself. So depending on the record that's in there, the, it gives off a different signal strength. We store it with those two comparators here. And after the record yeah, goes through the first hopper, uh, the, the saved state is reset with this uh, repeater here. And a tune plays so you know that the system uh, is working again. So you can also AFK here if you have, for example, really a lot of um, records. Let me just quickly go into Game on Zero to show you. So you get your initial music disc, then you put it in there and just hold down right click, and you see it goes very fast until you get the next one. It's like in a little bit over a second. Yeah, basically you want to build this next to your uh, uh, record farm and then just AFK um, at the sword of wall AFKing for the records. Mm -hmm. Another use for this useless contraptions would also be if somebody actually wants to listen to his records, so you can just go to the chest, take it out and yeah, play it. And after it's done listening, you can just click on the jukebox and it gets sorted back in. So it's Maybe not that useless. Okay, um, one thing we want to show you because we yeah, discovered, I don't know if it's anybody has done it before, but we made a new instant dropper line as you can see with those uh, alternating rails. Um, as you can see uh, with the normal designs throughout there you can only get a nine long um, yeah, line of droppers uh, to update it, so but with this one you're just limited by the signal strength, so we could have 15 droppers in a row. Um, okay, we built up a setup in over here with uh, almost 30 um, dropper long line, and yeah, let's just see it in action. Lego built a nice repeater here f uh, for the instant signal. Uh, Lego, can you put a uh, item in there? And power it. Yeah, as you can see, the item comes out. So basically, um, what happens is that um, uh, every um, dropper gets updated exactly at the right timing, and it's not uh, depending on um, the way um, the power drills were pow powering each other. So now they uh, get updated independently, and that works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the good thing is um, in the east-west uh, axis you could build it also in the other direction and power it from yeah from the start always. It always works. So east and south, uh, east-west direction always works no matter uh, in which direction you go. The only downside is the north-south direction. Um, it doesn't work there. Um, yeah, let's just put an item in here to demonstrate it. it get stuck in the fourth dropper for example, but it's kind of random, uh, depends on where you place it really. That's the downside to this method, but there are other um, designs out there that aren't directional, but I guess if you go in the east-west direction, it's I guess the best alternative.
Mm -hmm. It's very simple and effective. Okay, uh, that's all we want to show you for this week. Um, hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye. Bye.